Hello, living in Boulder Vlog. It's the 7th of February, 2019 at 1030 in the morning. Um, I was up all night, didn't get any sleep today. I'm waiting for my computer to come back to life right now. It's just spinning around for like the last hour or more. Um, I finished um, Euripides and I put all of the Euripides books on one book. That's why I'm overheating my computer. Um, and I don't think it's bigger than any of the other books that I have, but my computer is just spinning. I think I forgot to close the, uh, I have some other big pages on there that may have overcooked it, but hopefully it'll come back to life. So I'll do my video now. Um, I, uh, s yeah, I spent all day yesterday. I think that was like a three day, just on one book. Um, but, uh, that's the price of putting all lots of making really big pages before computers can handle it. Um, so anyways, after this, I'm going to do, I think, Augustan histories. I really want to finish um, Decline and Fall of the Roman Empire, uh, get back to it and make it better. I think I noticed not all the links worked. <laughs> um, but also, I want to, uh, all of the different chapters, I want to uh, add dates to them and names. Um, and uh, because I've been listening to it, um, on my cell phone, actually, I found that li listening to books on my cell phone is the easiest because uh, it connects to the earphones the easiest, and it's always right here, and it's really easy to scroll down and pick what I listen to. Um, on my web, I listen to my um, the history books on my website on my cell phone by just going to the page. I hold my finger down, and then the thing comes up. I think you have to with the iPhone ten, you have to set it up like this, spit to text to speech, but and then you just drag it down and. You just hold it down at the bottom and it scrolls down to the really fast down and then you just let go at the bottom and hit speak and it speaks so and i like to do it in uh various uh um uh by the uh chapters like one chapter at a time because it's usually like five or ten minutes just to remember where i am you know uh so i might whoo i might do that it gobbles up the battery on my phone though because they don't have it where that, like with YouTube, where you can turn the screen off and it still keeps playing YouTube if you pay the 15 bucks a month for YouTube Red. But with the cell phone, reading it, you have to have the screen on all the time, which means you can't touch the screen because if you touch the screen, it'll turn it off. So if you're listening to it, you have to put this phone in a place where you're not going to actually touch the screen, like in its own pocket. And then you can't, you know, it can't stay on for too long because it gobbles up the energy, so the battery. So I have to remember when I'm listening to it, have it plugged in all the time. Um, so yeah, for the next generation, hopefully they can figure that out and that'd be cool. It'd be cool to hit start and stop too. Like, just like an MP3 player file. That'd be really cool when it's reading text. Because um, a lot of the times... Um, you know, I, I, that would be, I, I, I choose a big bit to read. If you could do that, I could choose the whole book. I think that's how, that may be how natural reader works though. I was listening to my cell phone, my, my website with natural reader before, but I don't have to anymore cause it reads it. Um, but that was before I reset the, all the, I had to redo my, reinstall my phone cause I tried to put, um. I tried to put Kindle Reader on my phone or set my phone up for Kindle Reader. There's a settings thing. Um, but before then, yeah, I did have um, Natural Reader. I paid like 15 bucks for it, so I'll try that again. But yeah, if you have the iPhone 10, you don't need it. It just reads it to you. So um, yeah, I could, while this computer spins around, like in case it wants to spin it for a whole day, or I should probably... Ooh, you should probably just restart the program and the computer because um, uh, I think I just saved the main page. It's not like I'm going to lose stuff. But, um, but yeah, if, if, if I want to just wait on that, I could get going on my Google Earth again on Google Earth Rome. I think Google Earth in Rome is the thing that's the closest to being done that I can show something very interesting, you know, um, put myself back on the map again. Um, 
maybe like another month or so of work on it. I don't know. Anyways, I've been babbling for long enough. Uh, hopefully where, uh, 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 hopefully when I do my video tomorrow, I'll be, this computer will have come unstuck or I'll figure out a way to, I was done with the Euripides. All I had to do is, um, I pasted, all I had to do was uh, the batch edit. Um, this is my third time doing this video because I did it once and then I didn't realize I didn't hit uh, play and then I got a call. So I think I said it the other two times, but not this time that right now I'm doing a batch edit, taking away the breaks. Yeah, and I forgot to do that. Or I didn't realize it takes so long to do it with all the books together. I should have done it when I was building the books in separate pages. So anyways, so that's me. Uh, I think I'm going to yeah, lie down and hopefully this thing will come back to life. <sighs> or just get going on Google Earth. Theater of Marcellus. Okay. Peace out.